Okay, colleagues, uh, here is a very, very quick uh, tutorial to show you how to convert your PowerPoint slides into PDFs uh, so that they do not cause problems when students print them out on Safecom printers. I'm just going to create a default a PowerPoint presentation very, very briefly just to show you uh, what to do and what to avoid. I will choose a random PowerPoint presentation. I will put in some text. Just to add a extra slide. I've just inserted the random image and I will just save the file. Now I'm going to export it to a PDF using the standard export function. Which is create PDF XPS document. Uh, do not worry about this one. I've got Adobe Acrobat installed the full program, but you'll probably have this option available. It says create PDF XPS document. You're now going to export this to a PDF as a document that students can print out. This is where the where we have discovered where the problems come. You notice that there's various options available. Standard publishing, online and printing, minimum size publishing, online, etc. Most, most of the times we would create uh, and just say publish to publish it to a PDF. But what we have discovered is that there are certain things that you need to set before you publish. This is available under options. So click on options. And ensure that this option, the PDF options ISO 19005-1 compliant PDFA, which is jargon for a the simplest, most um, basic PDF format. And you'll notice that options like bitmap text when fonts may not be embedded is switched off document properties is switched off and the rest you can leave so let's just say OK and I will say give this a name default oh well, uh, correct and I will say save and I'll say publish it's now going to publish it to a PDF document. Now just as a test, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave those the default settings on. So I'll go again, I'll go to File, I'll say Export, Create PDF XPS Document, Create XPS Document, I'll go to Options and I will switch that off, which is the default uh, as you find it. I'll say OK and I will call this default and once again I will publish it. You'll see over here that the previous one has already been published as a PDF. Now what we're going to do is just create the default one. And I'll open up those two files and I'll do a check on them using the tools that I have with Acro uh, Adobe Acrobat Pro DC, which is the full program, not just the reader. There are the two files. I'll open up the default. 
nothing looks wrong here but when we do a check of the document for any potential problems uh, you'll discover a certain few things here I go to tools and I go to optimize PDF which is available specifically for Acrobat Pro DC and I go to pre-flight and I'll say analyze this document you'll notice that there are a number of errors some of which it says transparency transparency device process color used but no PDF etc etc all those kind of things are potentially problematic for printing so these can be fixed but this is just the default let's open up that correct one and see whether are, the errors are less see it looks exactly the same now if we do a tools optimize PDF and we do a pre-flight check we analyze it no problems so even though these two documents look identical the default one with the default settings create problems with transparencies and fonts and all sorts of aspects of the PDF that can cause printers to crash if you print out this document on a Safecom printer if you set that other setting and make it compliant then you get no problems so even though the documents look identical there is a huge difference so it is important that when you export your files uh, to as PDFs from PowerPoint that you ensure that the compliant settings the PDF 1a uh, compliant settings are set uh, a relatively easy change to do but it's something that will save you and the students a lot of headaches at a later stage